Right, fantastic. And to give us a brief on cloud adoption and security in the public sector, this is none other than Shadrach Anuo. He is the Senior Solutions Architect at Amazon Web Services. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Ian, for a great introduction and uh, hereby welcome everyone to the session today. So in this uh, session, we are going to uh, discuss actually two major parts. I'll start with cloud adoption in public sector, and then I transition into security again in, uh, of cloud in public sector context. Cloud computing supports a public sector transformation globally. We empower the public sector to build smarter, safer, and stronger communities. And as everybody in the room can remember, before COVID-19, online government services were a convenience, but there was almost always an in-person option to meet uh, citizens' uh, needs. This changed drastically with the pandemic, and technology proved more than ever in ensuring continuous delivery of services to the citizens, both in public and private sectors. Therefore, our cloud solution cuts across the various departments in government and public sector at large, uh, be it in public administration where citizen engagement is required, delivery of uh, justice in courts, providing citizen security through public safety initiatives, online learning, among other areas within public sector. I want to highlight two areas where cloud technology continues to meet public sector needs. That is uh, in the area of analytics, and also in citizen engagement and collaboration. As governments are forced to do more with less, they're waking up to the huge potential of data analytics to improve efficiency, make better spending decisions, and predict future trends. Cloud technology provides an agile plan to build both data analytics quicker and in a cost-effective way. Citizen access, on the other hand, is about providing public services and making sure that is available. Just to highlight the value of cloud technology adoption in citizen engagement, allow me to share some engagement we recently undertook jointly with the Ministry of Command Industry in Kuwait. COVID social distancing uh, brought a sudden requirement like managing food traffic flow in markets and stores. The ministry, working together with AWS, rolled out a solution to control the cumulative flow into 400 cooperative society markets and food supply stores to support social distancing requirement for COVID-19. This project was implemented in a single week, and this demonstrates the power of the cloud. And when you partner with uh, a customer at work, you can be able to deliver uh, uh, citizen-centric services uh, within public sector. Now, I've highlighted two areas on how cloud adoption can be able to improve service delivery to citizens and even provide uh, data insights to the public sector. But we do understand that security uh, in the cloud is a key concern for most organizations. Now, I want to uh, highlight how we look at security uh, in the cloud and also provide some strategies on how you can be able to implement security as a government institution. Adoption of cloud requires organizations to consider information security management processes and in particular, a clear vision of responsibility between the organization and the cloud service provider. At AWS, we recognize that security and compliance are shared responsibilities between us and our customers. This differentiation of responsibility is commonly referred to as shared responsibility, uh, where a service provider is responsible for security of the cloud and the customer is responsible for security in the cloud. Under this shared responsibility model, the cloud service provider, such as AWS, are responsible for protecting the infrastructure that runs all the services offered in the cloud. This infrastructure is composed of the hardware, software, networking, and the facilities that runs the cloud services. The customer, which in this case is any public organization, has the responsibility uh, to be able to ensure that the services that runs in the cloud are secure. But this responsibility will be determined by the nature of services they actually choose to deploy. Uh, this determines the amount of configuration work that they must perform as part of their security responsibility. Public sector organizations should, uh, should always be careful when they are considering uh, which services they are going to choose because their security responsibility vary depending on the services they actually use in the cloud. And the integration of those services into their IT environment and applicable law and regulation in their country. It's also possible for organizations to enhance their security and or meet their 
more stringent compliance requirements by using technologies such as host-based uh, firewalls, host-based intrusion uh, detection and prevention, encryption and key uh, management. Now, allow me to transition into sharing with you the best practice of public sector organization to consider in their cloud journey. The first one that I'm going to talk about is as a public sector organization, you need to develop a, a, cloud, a cloud security governance model. Uh, just make sure uh, that uh, you are able to address guardrails or security controls for the protection of the organization. And this should include protection of data either at rest or in transit. The second strategy is to enable compliance by developing a continuous strategy. And the, the question here that comes with compliance is, how do your operation and security teams maintain visibility into workloads on premise as well as uh, in cloud? And when addressing the compliance need, uh, what we always encourage security teams to be able to address is to look at how do you centralize operation and minimize changes. The other thing that uh, you need to uh, look at, how do you build uh, processes that uh, enable you to be able to uh, have automation and orchestration uh, in services within the public sector. Uh, the other strategy is around audit management. And in this case, you need to leverage cloud services that meet or the regulatory requirements. This can help you to be able to reduce the added uh, stress and allow your security team uh, to be able to focus on delivery of services to become more uh, product, uh, productive and also to improve efficiency. The other strategy is to know your limit. Uh, what we mean by know your limit is that leverage vendors, uh, we do understand that government organizations are not in the business of running cloud uh, services. And we have expertise that have been built high. So when we work together in form of partnerships, then you're able to address some of the uh, challenges that might come with either from a scale gap perspective or even uh, technical deficiencies that might arise within this uh, new cloud uh, technologies. And then the last one is to be able to resist uh, being resistant. We do, what we advise customers is that understand and accept that organizational strategies for modernization, security, enhanced customer interaction may likely include cloud. If not currently in use, then it's quite recommended that you plan on how you are going to adopt a cloud uh, strategy. And uh, to finalize it uh, up, it's all, all a matter of when and not if public sector will be able to fully embrace cloud uh, technology. Thank you. I come to the end of my presentation. Please uh, fill out, reach out to me at annual at amazon.com. Thank you and do enjoy the rest of the sessions.